Oh. Hi everyone, I'm back. Sorry about the technical difficulties. Please let me know if you guys can hear me clearly. Please let me know if you can hear me clearly. Hello. Welcome back, welcome back again. Sorry about the technical difficulties. We're going to get this prayer through, in and through, because obviously we are supposed to get this today. Can you all hear me clearly? Please type in the comments and let me know so we can get this started. Good. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you guys for joining us again on this prayer this evening. Now, you know, when there's difficulties, probably something we're supposed to do. The enemy doesn't want y'all to be activated tonight, but we're going to do it anyway. And you guys are going to say it with me. We're going to do it. Yay. Yes, 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 yes. So tonight is the night of activation and manifestation. Tonight is the night of activated, activating and manifestation. Your design, you are designed by God. And in our previous um, previous live, that was a little choppy again. Sorry about the technical difficulties. We, the scripture was Jeremiah chapter 1 verses 4 through 8. When you have the time to go ahead and go read it again but tonight is activation time we've been going and talking about being ready getting set and go and this is the last wednesday in the month of july so we are going to go i am the officiant tonight i am pushing the pulling the gun and i want you to take off out of the blocks and i want you to move forward you see me in my my painting clothes because currently, right now, I'm moving from one spot to the other. And it's not a mistake or happenstance that I'm moving from one spot to the other and that I'm here to pray for you. Because tonight is going to be the night that you start to see things activate. And you are going to shift from one place to the other. It is time. It is time for us to move forward. It is time for us to move forward. It, it has already not been church as usual. It has already not been church as usual. And it will not be that again. It will not be that again. Again. So tonight, I want you all to say, I am what God has designed me to be. And I will manifest that starting tonight. I will walk in purpose fully, unashamed, without question, unequivocally, without hindrance. I will walk in what God has designed me to walk. I will do what God has designed me to do. I will be what God has designed me to be. My children will be what God has designed them to be. I will speak life into the people around me. I will get up in the middle of the night and pray for those who God has placed on my heart. I am what God has designed me to be. Say it and I need you to type it. Say it. I am what God has designed me to be. Come on, people of God. I need you to type it in. I am what God has designed me to be. So, Father God, tonight I ask that you would give them the courage to walk boldly in purpose. For those who have become unemployed, Father God, show them why and where you want them to go and how you want them to do it, Father God. For those whose business have been affected, Father God, show them where they need to adjust so that they will flourish in this season as Sonia and Jarvis taught on this Sunday, Father God. Thank you for your hand on our lives, Father God. Thank you for us having us encounter angels, Father God. Thank you for your spirit even moving the more on us right now, Father God. I thank you for drawing us near to you. I thank you for creating a spot for us specifically to dwell with you, Father God. Thank you for showing us how to love you and how to live for you and how to do exactly what you have asked us to do for you, Father God. Thank you for causing us to speak life into the people that are around us. 
Father God. Thank you for waking us up with people on our hearts and on our minds and that we were literally just send a text that says, I just am thinking about you and I said a prayer, Father God, and that it would snatch them out of their anxiety attack or snatch them out of the loneliness that they're feeling or snatch them out of the depression that is going through their mind, Father God. Give us words of wisdom. Cause us to walk so boldly in your presence that when we walk into a place that the atmosphere shifts, Father God. Thank you, Father God, even for causing us as prayer warriors and as intercessors to raise up and lift up our leaders even the more, Father God, that there would never be a pastor again that says, I'm lonely and I don't know what to do or who do I turn to when I'm hurting, Father God. That would not be the case anymore, Father God. Cause us to stand up and stand upright and not walk in judgment, but walk in grace and peace and love and let us be the word, the living word, the word that nobody, is, people never pick up a Bible, that they would read our lives and they would want to know more about you, Father God. Change our minds so that we can walk in the prosperity that you would cause us or desire for us to walk in, Father God. Give us the mentality of the one that doubled the five talents, Father God. Give us the mentality of, of, of being wise like the serpent, but yet gentle as a dove, Father God. Thank you for causing us to be warriors, to be peacemakers, to have the wisdom to know which one to do and when, Father God. Thank you for increase in this season like never before. Increase us in wisdom. Thank you for witty inventions, Father God. Thank you for birthing millionaires in this season that are part of your kingdom that will raise other people up. Father God, cause us to walk under the anointing such that, anointing of wealth such that when we are in a city that the demographics change, Father God. I thank you for trusting us. And in this seventh month of 2020, as it ends, Father God, that you would reveal to us what you want us to do for the rest of the year and that we would have the boldness to walk in the doors even when we don't see the answer. We will do what you say do. Say that I will do what you say do. Come on, say it out loud and type it. I will do what you say do. I will do what you say do because I am walking in purpose. You designed me and I will manifest that. Go back and pick up your gifts, the things that you want. We will do what you say do. We will do what you say do. Tonight is a night of activation. Type in manifest. Manifest, God. Manifest your purpose through me. Type in, I am a kingdom builder because you are. I am a kingdom builder. We are ambassadors to God's kingdom. We are ambassadors and we will. We will represent him well. We will be the ones that are the change that we desire to see in our area. Those ideas that you say, I wish somebody did and I wish somebody did, it's in there. The things that bother you the most. When you see poor leadership, if that bothers you, then you're the answer. Ask God to show you how to be the answer. If you see kids that are homeless and that bothers you, then you're the answer. Ask God to show you how, what do I need to put in place? Who do I need to see? I pray right now that there are Cyruses released in your life that bring decrees that help you with, with resources to do the project God is calling you to do and will bring protection. This is all happening. Write it down tonight. In the eighth month, in August, start expecting, move, start moving forward. If you need a business plan, do it. I, I implore you to have it done by this weekend. If you need a lawyer, start finding them. And even if you don't have the resources for something, do it anyway. The resources will show up as you move forward. I'm telling you as a prophetic declare, do what God is telling you to do. 
even when you don't understand it and you don't have the resources because in this season, they're going to meet you when you're on your way. Hallelujah. Say it again. I am what God has designed me to be. And I will walk in that starting now. Come on. Come on, y'all. Come on. I need you now to go ahead and go into a worship on your own. Because when we end this live, I need you to be worshiping God and saying, thank you, God, for answering my prayers. And thank you for shifting me. And thank you for moving me forward. And thank you for loving me. And thank you for touching that loved one. And thank you for causing me to pray for those that are needing you, Father God. Thank you for even manifesting the things that you said you were going to that divine intervention, Father God. Thank you that it was just not last week, but it still is now. And every gift, even the ones that you're trying to hide, is now the season. It is now. You hear me, Kristen? It is now the season to walk in it. Every gift. Stop hiding behind things. And I'm the biggest one to talk. Because, boy, I will stay in the background all day long if you let me. (laughs) But God, Lord, have mercy. Woo! God has a way of saying, okay, I need it now. Go ahead and say yes. Go ahead and say yes. There are people around you in your circle that need you to stand up because it's going to give them the courage to stand up and walk in purpose. Hallelujah. Father God, we seal this prayer to you right now. We seal these decrees that there will be no hurt, harm, or danger coming toward us and nothing that can stop this declaration. No fear. No apprehension, no person, no entity will stop us. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we will walk in this. Nothing will stop us from walking in this. New levels, and we shall activate. We are what you said we are. We are what you designed us to be, and we shall walk into it. Thank you for joining us again. Thank you for coming back during the technical difficulties. I ask that you would just take the next 20 minutes, 30 minutes, if you can, at least 10, and find a corner or a spot in your house with a journal. Go ahead and say, Holy Spirit, speak to me and write down everything he tells you to do. And tomorrow or even tonight. I need you all to go ahead and activate and start doing those things. It is now the time. It is now the season to move forward. Hallelujah. God bless you all. Again, thank you to my pastors for trusting me with you all. I pray that this activates you. Don't shriek back. Move forward. Even when it doesn't make sense. Even when you can't see. Manifest today. You are what God has designed you to be in Jesus name. Good night. Don't forget to join us in um, on, on Sunday where our dynamic duo pastors Dio and Decoa are going to bring a word. Oh my goodness. Woo. If you hadn't watched everything this past July, I implore you to go back and watch the lives from Sister Crystal, from uh, Jeremy, from, um, oh goodness, I'm forgetting somebody, that's why you're not supposed to say words, but um, the, 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 the Phillips, listen, ready, set, go, it's, today is go time, today is go time, today is go time, you will, every single one of you all that is on this live and those that are watching it when it's not live, you are what God has called you to be. Tonight is the night of activation. Join us on Sunday at uh, 9 a.m. for our live service, uh, live via Facebook and on YouTube. And also Monday through Friday, there is a prayer call. Listen, 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 listen. When I say you need to be on that prayer call, I have heard and I have my own testimonies from that prayer call. Go ahead and go on Facebook and look for the phone number. I think um, the phone number is also going to pop up in the comments, but it's every every weekday morning at 7 a.m. Listen, you got to be there. 
You got to be there. Thank you for joining us. Activate. Please inbox us and tell us your testimonies from this activation. Okay? Thank you. We love you. Good night. Worship for the next 20 to 30 minutes. Okay? Good night, everyone.